fellow Italian. Nice. Matalucci, Constantino. Yeah. And you're from Rhode Island. I am originally from Rhode Island, yes. I'm a Jersey girl. Oh. <laughs> you're like, I'm sorry. What exit? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> So tell me a little bit about what you're doing at Sundance. I know that you won Top Chef on Bravo. So tell us a little bit about what you're doing here. Uh, I came here with uh, Chase Sapphire Preferred to cook for the Hellion premiere party. And we missed it. That was last night. So this is my swan song out. Tonight's my last night. I leave tomorrow. What did you cook? Uh, for the cast, uh, I did a pretty much vegetarian-based past hors d'oeuvres. Uh, we did a couple special cocktails. And then as the cast moved out and card members came in, we started rolling out porchetta, quail and agri-dolce, uh, duck liver stuffed dates. Just try to keep it rolling and fun, easy, pick up with your hands. My mouth is watering. Not make your dress all messy, <laughs> make you look nice. What do you say the new food trend is? I know everything was like sustainable and organic. What are you seeing right now? You know, I, I'm actually probably not the best person to ask about food trends because I feel that people focus too much on food trends. I think everybody needs to start focusing on what they want to do as a chef or an individual and dictate what they want to do, not let what people tell them a trend is and dictate that as their direction. You know, you find your own way, find your own path, you know? That's why people are here. That's why everybody's here at this film festival. They're looking at films where people have driven their own path, driven their car the way they want to go, not the way everybody else tells them. And that's what got them here. So why should everybody follow what everybody else is doing with food? I love it. And you always put your celebrity to a good cause. I know you raised a lot of money for Parkinson's. Are you doing anything else with your celebrity? I don't know if I'm a celebrity or call cooking being a celebrity. I still go home smelling like a goat from working all day. Um, I do try to work a lot with uh, children, making sure that they're not being given what I like to call fake food, you know, the chicken finger oh, stuff. Yeah, just the process. Just and just educating kids on not being afraid to eat. And I'm still working the Michael J. Fox Foundation for Parkinson's Research. It's really important to me. Well, we love it. Well, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. Have a good one. You too. Cheers. Can we get a photo? Of course, of course. Can you cook for us? <laughs> I think you've got important people to deal with. Thank you so much.